Today I'm going to be showing you the different types of single crochet or the different ways you can single crochet. So I've got four ways here. So the first method we've got is the traditional yarn over, yarn over method. This creates these little V's that you can see right here. The second way is the yarn under, yarn under method. And I like this method a lot. And it creates more little X's rather than little V's. It makes a really tight stitch, so you can't really see the stuffing poking through. The next method is yarn under, yarn over. And this creates a similar style to the yarn under, yarn under. You can still see those little X's there. So in my right hand is the yarn under yarn over and in the left is yarn under yarn under. The next way is the yarn over yarn under and it looks very similar to the first traditional method of doing it but it ends up being a little bit tighter. Let's get into stitching the yarn over, yarn over. We'll go into the stitch, yarn over the hook, pull that loop up, yarn over, and through. So as you can see, it creates that traditional stitch with the, the classic V that you can see there and it's got a little bit of space in between so stuffing may show through. So that's what it looks like when it's all in that ball. The next way is the yarn under, yarn under, and you can see those little X's right there. It creates kind of like a boxy stitch. Into the stitch, instead of going yarn over the hook, you're gonna pick up just that yarn and pull it up through so you have two loops on your hook. Then we'll yarn under instead of yarning over. So in, yarn under, pull up a loop, yarn under, and pull under both. So it makes a really tight stitch. And then it starts to look like that when you've had more stitches in. So moving on to our combination stitch, we're going to go in, yarn under, yarn over, and pull through. In, yarn under, yarn over, and pull through. So now you can see that we've made all of our stitches there and it looks very similar to the previous method. I would say that the yarn under yarn under looks a little bit smaller and is a little bit tighter than the yarn under yarn over. And this has to do with the way that the yarn is twisting. When you don't twist the yarn as much, it, uh, it becomes quite tight. So our last combination method is the yarn over, yarn under. So we'll go into the stitch, yarn over, pull it through, yarn under, pull it through both loops. Into the stitch, yarn over, yarn under, pull it through both. So then it starts to look a little bit like this, and this looks very similar to the traditional method, but the stitches are a little bit tighter because you're not twisting around that yarn as much. So here we have the yarn over, yarn over, yarn under, yarn under, yarn under, yarn over, and lastly we have the yarn over, yarn under. 
So hopefully that explains to you a little bit about the types of stitches and maybe changes up your amigurumi game. Good luck!